Hi everyone, welcome back to Codera. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the lead code bi-weekly contest number 71. So the first problem name was minimum sum of four digit number after splitting the digits, right? So in this problem, what you had to do was you will be given a particular number num and what you have to do is let's suppose that if you are given 2932, so you can split that particular number into two numbers like uh, you can say num1 and num2, right? And the target was that the sum of num1 plus num2 should be minimum, right? Let's read the problem statement to get better clarity. So they are saying that you'll be uh, having the particular number num and you have to uh, change it into num1 and num2 uh, by uh, using the digits of the number that has been given to you. And what you have to do is in the end, you have to return the minimum possible sum of the new number uh, one and the new number two, right? So let's suppose that if you are given this particular number that is two nine, uh, 2932 so if you are given this number so you can easily observe that if you are given this number so 2932 so you can easily observe that you will try to get the minimum number right if you want to get the minimum sum of the number one num1 plus num2 that you are making so you will try to distribute the digits in equal manner right what do i mean by that so if you have 2932 so you will not want that one digit becomes two and another digit becomes 932 right something like this you will never want so like let's say if you are distributing it like this maybe two is here and then 239 is here something like this this is not something that you want because in this case you can see that there is an uneven distribution of digits and this would lead to some problems right but what if uh, we are talking in this problem if we distribute the digits in uh, equal distribution so if you dis uh, distribute two digits to the first number and two digits to the second number in that case you will be getting the minimum possible answer and how will you do this so first of all like you can extract all the digits of the number so the digits are nothing but two two three and nine once you extract these digits so what you can do is you can basically store them in a vector and once you have stored them so you will try to distribute them right so why i have sorted them because i want the number to be minimum right if i am making a digit like 2 2 and 3 9 so this can be my minimum answer but i am not sure so what i can do is if i want it to be minimum then since the array is sorted so what i can do is i can distribute the first digit here and the second digit here then i can distribute this digit here and then the next digit here right so it will become 23 plus 29 and this would give me 52 like this right so let's check out the answer for this particular test case you can see that the answer is 52 right and this part was pretty much intuitive that whenever you have been given a particular number so you will have you will have to make the two digits right uh, two numbers like num1 and num2 so you'll try to distribute the digits to them in such a way that it is balanced right like if you if you distributed this nine, uh, this nine to uh, to maybe to the first point, then in that case it will not have been optimal, right? So to get the optimal thing, what you need to do is you can basically sort the given digits, right? And in that after that you can distribute them evenly, like right? you can distribute the first digit to the first number, then the second digit to the second number, then the third digit to the first number, and the uh, next digit to the fourth number, uh, fourth number. And in this way you will be able to get the minimum possible sum, right? So let's look at the implementation for. This particular problem what i did was first of all uh, i'll declare a vector to store all the digits right and then i'll ex start extracting all the digits of the number so num does not equal to zero i'll extract the digit that is num uh, digit is equal to nothing but number modulus 10 and what i'll do is if the digit is not zero then i'll push back into the vector and i'll update my num that is num is equal to num divided by 10 once i've done that so i'll sort the digits in the uh, in the that i have in the vector and i'll declare a num1 and num2 and what i'll do is i'll iterate through this particular all the digits one by one and if the digit is at the even position even indexing right i indexing will be zero based in my case so if the indexing is even so i can distribute into the first number so i'll update the first number as num1 is equal to num1 into 10 plus v of i otherwise i'll update the second number so num2 is equal to num2 into 10 plus v of i like this right and in the end i'll just return num1 plus num2 now how will this dis distribution work so like if i have these digits that is 2 2 3 and 9 so what i am saying is that you have this array right so this indexing is zero this is one this is two and this is three so what you can notice is this is these are the values of i so all the even values of i that are there all the even indexed values of i you distribute them to the first number and all the odd indexes you distribute them to the second number right so num1 is equal to initially it will become two right then what will happen uh, num num2 will also become two right when 
your i will be at this particular position so you are saying that num1 plus is equal to uh, num1 is equal to num1 into 10 plus 3 right so this will become 23 because first you will multiply 10 into this 2 and this will become 23 this is something that i am telling for the beginners right and num2 is equal to nothing but num2 into 10 plus uh, plus the v of i this would be the current v of i so this would be 9 so 20 plus 9 would, would give me 29 so this is the way that i can do it and like this particular approach is pretty much generalized if you had a bigger number even then it would work and let me show you that it is getting accepted so i'll submit it for you so that i can show that it's working so you can see that it's working it was a pretty easy problem i'll provide the uh, code link in the description thanks a lot for watching and if you like the video you can subscribe and hit the like button thank you